Romans chapter 12. But for mm-hmm. one of the things we were sharing on Sunday was that as we go into 2016, we must have the right mindset. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And it was saying things like um, it takes a mind, a, a mind of an overcomer to overcome. Mm-hmm. Right? It takes the mind of a prosperous person to prosper. Praise the Lord. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. So let's, um, how does it look at Romans? Yeah. Romans 12. Mm. Romans 12. Mm. And you look at it from Romans 12 from verse 1. Mm. It said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. Romans chapter 12. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice, only and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good, what is that, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you look at the Amplified, I'll read the Amplified. It says that, mm. say, I, I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, and I beg of you, mm. in the view of all the mercies of God, to make a decisive dedication of your bodies, mm. presenting all your members and faculty as a living sacrifice, holy, devoted, consecrated, and well pleasing to God, which is your reasonable rational, intelligent service mm-hmm. and spiritual worship. Mm-hmm. I want to say a little bit about that, but let's, let's go down. He said, now, verse 2, he said, but do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashioned after and adopted to its external superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind by its new ideals and its new attitude so that you may prove for yourself what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God, even the things which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry. I, I read yeah, that. read it in high. This is okay, go ahead and read it. You know, it's really, really good. I'm reading it here, yeah. Children, we are reading Romans 12, 1 and 2. So, brothers, since God has shown us great mercy, I beg you to offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him. You offer, your your offering, offering must be only for God and pleasing Him. To him, this is the spiritual way to worship him. For you to worship him, do not change your, yourselves to be like the people of this world, but be changed within by a new way of thinking. Okay. Then you will be able to decide what God wants for you, and you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to God and what is perfect. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here is what yeah. I want you to do. God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Mm-hmm. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. Mm. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Hmm. Instead, fix your Help attention on God. You will be changed from the inside out. Hmm. Readily recognize what, what He wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, you, you or around you always dragging you down its hmm. level of immaturity. God brings the best out of you, de- yes. develops well formed maturity in you. Praise the Lord. Any other translation? <laughs> Any other nice translation? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you see that I want to how to draw attention to from one to two. I know so many times we are quick to also look at the part 
And each time I say this, I really want to be very careful. You know, try to make things sound legalistic or try to say do's and don't. But when you look at these two scriptures carefully, you realize that Paul started from first the outside. Mm. Your daily discipline. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know in the message of in the name of grace, 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 people don't like talking about the daily discipline. Mm. But we can see it right here. He's saying that it is, before he went to the fact of you changing your mind, he first of all said, present your body. Mm -hmm. And your, the message translation talks about your daily things, right? How do you put it? Say that again, in but the message. It says your, your everyday ordinary life. Your everyday ordinary life. Your eating, mm -hmm. I mean, right? You're sleeping, you're going to work and working around that. So it's, it, it, we must change that. That, that, that first viewpoint, that our external view, must conform, must also be transformed, must also be changed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because so many times, we try to just try to, we think that we're, we're going to get access straight away to our mind, without first of all fixing those gates, those access points that the enemy uses. Amen. For us to shut down, that's, okay, when I went for training, right, what, what was the first thing they do? They took you away from your family. They took you away from your comfort zone. Your wife and your children and all that. Then they put you in the barracks and then the whole behavioral pattern is changed. There's yelling, there's discipline, there's screaming, there's fear. They bring all that mixture to make your mind rearrange. <laughs> Does that make sense? So you get to basic training. As you, are, as you are coming down from the truck, in fact, they take you to basic training in the middle of the night, right? Yes. You, you don't know where you're going, so you, you leave Houston, you leave your family, the first place they take you to is a fine, nice restaurant, hotel, <laughs> they are feeling your pee, and like, wow, this is a beautiful hotel. <laughs> then in the night, they just come, boom, 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 let's go. And then you're all suited up, and you're all sitting down in the bus, mm. and then from there, you mm. wonder that, why are we going in the night? Everything happened in the night. Then you get to the you then get to the basic training camp, the first place where you register to get your uniform and everything. When you come down, in fact, as you are pulling, as the boss is pulling in, mm. the drill sergeant that comes in just start yelling. You have not done anything. <laughs> People start crying right there. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they, why did they change all your atmosphere just to train your mind? Mm. So that's, that's the balance we need to bring, brethren, mm -hmm. is the fact that if we must change from the inside, the physical things around us too must change. Mm -hmm. The TV time must change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sleeping time must change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm, I'm not pointing only to TV. Mm -hmm. Some people may be good with watching TV and they're still good to pray. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to let you know that if, we must, if that, conf that renewal mm -hmm. must happen, the external... Preparation must be in place. Amen. Praise the Lord. So they get us to that training ground and everybody starts screaming. You have not done anything wrong. And it, you look at somebody and say, Why are you looking at me? You, you know? <laughs> and you, you, you put your head down and you're just wondering, What is the old? How does this add to the training? Did you, you know? Patrick, I don't know if you had any access. <laughs> Patrick is laughing over there, right? <laughs> You'll be, you be asking yourself every day, must you yell? Must you? <laughs> How is this thing added to the training? The whole essence is that they, they, they put your mind at a position to learn. Do you, you understand? Every morning you are yelling the, the what is it called now? Um, the soldier's creed. I'm an American soldier. I'm a, and we're screaming on top of our voice. Before we go eat, you scream it. When you come out, you scream. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is laughing right now <laughs> because he understands what I'm talking about. Why? They changed that physical for eight weeks. Hmm. And guess what? When you now leave that old place and you go to your next place where they're going to train you on your specialty, everything is thrown out of the window. Hmm. I mean, the first time I got to my specialty area, I saw people smoking. I'm thinking, like, uh -uh. is this still the army? You know, like, <laughs> what's going on here? You know? What have they done? Then they, when you are talking to you, they are saying that don't lose your military bravery, don't lose your training, don't lose your discipline. In other words, you can do whatever you want to do now, 
But when we say six o'clock, it's six o'clock. <laughs> you better not be late. Why? Because in that eight weeks, they've trained you discipline, right? It's not part of you. Does that make sense? I'm saying all these stories to say one thing that as we get ready to go to 2016, and we want a change of mind, Amen. there are external influences around us that affects that internal configuration. And if that must be right, then let us change our atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us prepare a place for the Lord in our homes. Let us prepare a place for the Lord in our day-to-day -day activities, in our lifestyle, in the, th in the decisions that we make, in the Facebook that we do, in the social media. All those things must be changed so that we can experience a newness, so that it is easy for us to come into that new mindset. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord is not going to put a new wine in an old wine skin. Hmm. He said, if he does that, what happens? It's going to fall. It will break. There must be a new wine in a new wine skin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to ask you, you know, Brad Fanu was sharing this on Sunday about as we get into 2000 and 2016, we must go in with a new mindset. We must go in with a mindset of overcoming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to I want to beg everyone, everyone here, I'm begging you, like Paul said, I beseech you. <laughs> Please, don't join them in saying, we don't know how 2016 is going to be. Even if you don't know, the Holy Spirit in you knows. Amen. Amen. So confess what the Spirit is saying. Amen. Amen. Because we have Christ, we can face tomorrow. Amen. Don't join them in trying to be super humble. Well, this is the Lord's do No, you declare the Lord's doing. Amen. Amen. You declare what you have read of what the Lord has said concerning you. Yeah. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord is our banner, is our shield, is our provider. Don't go and sit down with statistics as say, well, they say projection of finances is going to... Don't listen to all those things. Mm. Except the Lord leads you to go listen to it. Because there's so many noise going on right now. Oh, there's going to be war. There's going to be this. There's going to... Don't, don't join them in living in fear. We're people of faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so it's important for us as we go in, to go in with that mindset. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. A mind of humility. A mind that is humble to, to follow the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's my episode. <laughs> I wanted to say break, but my that. So brother, you must. Please. Be at liberty. I, I mean, we are not we are not constrained. We are not enforcing it that you have to share with us. But it's good when you are here too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, I just want to two things. Uh, the first one, as I just started, the Spirit of God just dropped a witness in my heart mm. to see what a blessing for. The occupants of this house. Amen. 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 In Second Samuel chapter six, Amen. there was this family that kept the ark of God hmm. in their house. Hmm. And the Bible says, and the Lord blessed them. Hmm. You know, as I said, that was a passage that came to me. Amen. That because you opened your house for the ark of God. And the act speaks of the presence mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Because you open your house, you house the act of the Lord. There is a blessing. Mm -hmm. There is attached to it. Amen. So I just want to see that blessing and I'll mm -hmm. just share some few words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I lift our brethren that have opened up their house for your people, mm. that your name will keep them, Amen. that your name will preserve them, Amen. that your name will help them. Amen. Lord God Almighty, may this house know a season of softness. Amen. Amen. Where they've been drought, where they've been wilderness, where they've been barrenness, 
mm. where they've been dragged by the breath of your spirit mm. let a season of softness mm. a season of fatness Amen. a season of increase Amen. and a season of enlargement yes be known by this family Amen. Jehovah let this family know the oil that comes from your presence mm -hmm. That oil that breaks every youth. Yes, Lord. Let that oil be released upon this house. Yes, Amen. Amen. Let them know softness. Amen. Amen. Where things have been hard and challenging mm. and stressful mm. by your breath. Mm. Let them know softness. Amen. Let the rock bring forth water for them. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, amen. amen. Let it be said of this household. Mm -hmm. And the Lord bless them. Mm -hmm. And the Lord enlarge them. Amen. And the Lord visited them for good. Amen. amen. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we bless you. Yes, Lord. Lord, we bless you. Yes, Lord. Give them laughter. Amen. Yes. Give them enlargement. Amen. Amen. Lord, give them softness. Amen. But I don't know where it is, but the Lord just kept impressing upon my heart that the Lord grant you softness. Amen. The Lord grant you softness. Amen. That your love bring forth an increase. Yes. Where there be tongues and tissues and bra, the Lord grant that your love bring forth an increase. Amen. That you walk in your lot and your inheritance. Amen. Amen. Father, we give you thanks. Yes, Lord. Oh, let the presence of this heart in this house bring a season. Of glory. Amen. 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 Thank, you, yes. thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, my Father. Thank, thank you, Jesus. For the season of restoration hmm. and the season of recovery. Yes, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hmm. Amen. And then the second thing I wanted to share. Um, I'll just share briefly from Numbers chapter 10. Mm. Basically, the children of Israel, they, they've been in the wilderness, they've been navigating mm. their way through the wilderness. And Moses' father-in-law, or brother-in-law, was like an eye to them in the wilderness. And Moses was asking the young man to go with them. After some conversation, the guy said, sorry, I want to go back to my people. You know. But then, verse 33. And they departed from the mouth of the Lord. Three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in the three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. Hmm. Hallelujah. And they departed from the mouth of the Lord three days, hmm. <coughs> and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. Hmm. Turn your Bible to Exodus 15. Exodus 15. I read verse 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days, 
three days keep preparing to but that's not the body today. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Mara, they could not drink of the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which, when he cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. And there he made for them a statue and an ordinance, and there he proved them, and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healed thee. And they came to Eli, where there were twelve wells of water, and three score and ten palm trees, and they encamped there by the waters. Amen. Amen. So if we go back to the Numbers 10. It says, And the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. Okay? So in the Old Testament, the God that they were dealing with was Estana. The God they were dealing with were typified in the Ark of the Covenant. And in the Ark, you have all sorts of articles in that chest that they kept carrying. As it was, as if they were carrying God from one place to the other. And that was the experience they had in the Old Testament. But this passage said, the Ark of the Covenant went before them to search out a resting place for them. And so what is the equivalent of this Ark of the Covenant to us that are believers now? The Ark of the Covenant, the presence of the Lord, is the Holy Spirit that we have received. And that Holy Spirit is indwelling in us. Amen. And as we enter 2016, a key element we need to watch out for is the leading of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we must be a people that are conversant with the leading of the Holy Spirit. The prompting of the Holy Spirit. And I sat here, the Lord was just ministering to me that there will be unusual promptings for you to experience greatness and unusual visitation. You will receive the ability to hear the voice of the Spirit. Amen. When Jessica was talking about the Holy Spirit in John 14, 15, 16, he said the Holy Spirit knoweth all things and it will teach you all things. So the Holy Spirit is not just limited to the things of God, to our spiritual things. The Holy Spirit has the ability to lead us in our businesses, to lead us in our school, to lead us in our relationship. And is the prompting of the Holy Spirit that will open the door to greatness and great help unto the people of God. Amen. It says the Holy Spirit knoweth all things. Hmm. You can see the act of the covenant was leading the people to where a place of rest. My friends. The Holy Spirit will grant us rest. Amen. Amen. In 2016. Amen. Things that we have struggled with, things mm. that have been difficult, things that have been like puzzle, the Holy Spirit will open it up. Amen. The Holy Spirit will lead you in the path mm. that leads to life. Amen. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 20 and verse 27. 
He says, you have an anointing. And that anointing teaches you all, all things. things. That anointing will illuminate our hearts. Let me just read it from this translation. It says, yes. First John chapter 2, verse 20. It says, But you have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. Did you say you know something? Mm. Hello. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Did you say you know something? Mm. But that is God's word. Because God is seeing the end from the beginning. That is God's picture of you. That this son of mine, this daughter of mine, has the ability to know all things. Just like Jesus Christ. Please didn't take Jesus Christ on our way. Because he had the option of the father of honey. The Bible says that the spirit of God of honey was without measure. He could discern, he could judge rightly. And that's what the Bible is telling us. You have an anointing. That's what translation says. It says the Holy One has anointed you. So all of you have knowledge. I don't know how I'm replying. Can you just read up the Bible? Okay. First John two. Twenty. Sorry, but you have you have been anointed by you hold is a sacred appointment from from you. The first John two twenty, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have been given an unction from the only one. And you, you all know the truth, and you know all things. Mm. And you know all things. Can it be true <laughs> that we know all things? Mm. But we're grappling with things. We're working in darkness. Mm. Things are taking us on our way. But this is God's mind concerning, concerning us, us and concerning yes. me. Mm. The doors that God is opening in 2016. Mm. We will need to walk by the Spirit Amen. to open those doors. Jesus Christ in Luke 22, he told the disciples, Look, I want to celebrate my Passover. Say, but going to the city, you will see a man carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. Wherever that man takes you, follow him. That man will bring you into an enlarged estate. Hmm. Follow that man. He's still the minister of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. The man with the picture of water. Follow him. So we need to develop the ability to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Hmm. We need to be quiet. Hmm. Part of all the things Abraham was talking about is the quietness in your spirit. Hmm. God speaks and will continue to speak. Amen. Do you want to know greatness? Learn to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Do you want to know breakthroughs? Learn to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. The psalmist will say in Psalm 16, it says, I commune with my heart. I've said the Lord always before me because it's at my right hand. I will not be moved. I commune with my heart upon my bed. Friends, we must come to that place where we learn to listen to the prompting, the quickening of the Holy Spirit in our heart. The Exodus passage we read, it was the same act of his presence that led them to Mara, where there was no water. But it was not a hopeless situation. In leading them to Mara, 
it is there is the solution, there is an ability to solve whatever challenges that comes their way. Yes. And so when they got to Mara, because the other people they, they did not understand the, the leading of the Holy Spirit, they started murmuring. But the Lord told Moses, Look, there's a tree. Cast that tree into the water. Friends, that tree is Jesus Christ. If you cast that tree into every bitter water, there's only one result. That water will become sweet. Will sweet. Amen. Amen. All that we require to turn our bitter water into sweetness, I will provide it in the tree. Amen. Which is Christ Jesus. Mm. It was the ark of the covenant that still took them through that, that route. Or passing through that wilderness where there was bitterness. But the bitterness was not to kill them, it was to strengthen them. Amen. It was to see a demonstration of God's power, mm. the sufficiency of the tree in addressing the bitterness. Mm. So how do you know that the tree is sufficient if you don't pass through the Hmm. The wilderness of Mara. Hmm. There can be no testimony hmm. without, without the test. Test. Amen. And so when the Holy Spirit is leading you to do some cause, it is that there is something in you that will arise hmm. to minister to that issue. Hmm. And once there's an overcoming, your faith will increase. Ah, the God that did it yesterday can do it today. Amen. Oh, it took me through that situation. It can do much more. Amen. But if you don't have that experience, it will just be head knowledge. Hmm. Hmm. And that's why it was the Ark of the Covenant that took the children of Israel to the wilderness and took them to the place where there was no water. Hmm. Whether God was wicked. No. God wanted to show them that, look, I have a provision hmm. in the tree. And that tree is Jesus. Amen. And that tree can address every bitter condition. Mm. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 84. Mm. It talks about some people that have set their heart on pilgrimage. Mm. That these ones are on a journey. Mm. These ones have set their heart on the Lord. Just as we're talking about the Romans 12. You give them your members as sacrifice. You give them yourself unto the Lord. Singleness of heart. This was when they come to the valley of Becca. The valley of Becca is a bitter experience. So other translation calls it the valley of tears, the valley of sorrow. Mm -hmm. But these same people, when they come to that valley of Becca, there's something in them that is able to turn that valley of Becca into a well. pool of blessing. Mm -hmm. Friends, that is the testimony. Amen. That is the open door. Mm. Other people will see that same valley and be grumbling. Mm. Or may we not grumble. Amen. Amen. The children of Israel at the point of Mara, they were grumbling. Mm. May you not grumble. Amen. Amen. May the Lord open our eyes to see mm. the tree. Mm. So when you see the tree, you will not grumble. Mm. It will be an opportunity for you to demonstrate the faithfulness of your God. Amen. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Each of them were grumbling because they didn't see the sufficiency of that God. God had mercy upon the Moses and said, Look, there is a tree. That tree has always been there. Mm. Oh, may the Lord open your eyes. Amen. Amen. To see the tree Amen. Amen. that has always been there. Amen. Amen. To see the land that has always been provided. Amen. Amen. So Abraham sacrificing Isaac, the Lord said, No, don't touch that word. The Lord opened his eyes and there was a land. Mm -hmm. Edgar was dying and crying. The Lord opened her eyes and there was a well. Mm -hmm. Friends, there is a provision for you Amen. for us to overcome and triumph in 2016. Amen. Amen. That provision yeah. is in the tree, in the, is in the Christ Jesus. Hmm. The Holy Spirit will reveal all of Jesus to us. Amen. So when the Comforter comes, he will speak of me. He will reveal all that is of Jesus to you and hmm. to me. Hmm. All that Jesus has secured for you and for me to overcome, to triumph, to stand as testimony. The Holy Spirit will open our eyes. Hallelujah. 
to begin to appropriate that which is ours in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, let's 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 look unto God. Hmm. That as you pray, as you hmm. study the Bible, as you worship, just just be quiet in your heart. Hmm. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. Hmm. Hmm. Learn it. It might be a prompting. It might be telling you to do some unusual things. Don't be afraid. Just respond. Hmm. Just respond. And as you get it right and get it there, it becomes easier and easier to sense. I give you an, uh, uh, an experience that happened recently. You know, we went somewhere and we were praying for somebody. You know, this guy just come to the fellowship for the first time, and and I was praying. You know, sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead you to pray so abnormal prayers, and I was praying. You know, when Jesus Christ told them to go and get that axe that was tied, mm -hmm. tell them that the Master has need of this axe. You know, when they ask, what are you doing? Tell them, the master has need of this heart. Lose the heart. So I found myself praying in that direction. That this man seemed to be tied. Seemed to be under some yoke. Not losing. Not setting free to serve you. Whatever yoke upon his neck, you know, not lose it. I was praying in that direction. A old grown up man, a professor, was crying. After fellowship, the man was crying. I said, what is the problem? The friend of mine was in Amor, and he had a lot of issues. They threatened him with him to die. And, and here was somebody coming from nowhere and praying directly and addressing those issues. But it was the prompting of the Holy Spirit to pray that way. Amen. And when you do the things the Lord wants you to do, you get results. Mm -hmm. And that is what is accounted unto the Lord. It's not you doing your own things. If the Lord said, pray for this man, or the Lord said, make a loud noise unto him, the Lord said, clap your hand, and you do the things the Lord wants you to do, that is what the Lord will come. Jesus Christ said, the things I see my father do, those are the things I do. The other things are religion. The other things are tradition. But I look unto God not just for this assembly, but for the people of God. That 2016 will be a people that have the capacity to respond to the voice of the Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you even when it seems quiet and nothing is happening, yeah. as you pray, as you read your Bible, as you are prompted, please yeah. respond. Amen. For in responding. Hmm. Is a great deliverance and great visitation upon his house. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The ark of the covenant is broken <coughs> on three days' journey. Hmm. After three days, it will be perfected. He led them on the three days' journey. Exodus on a three days journey. The journey that God is leading us is three days. But God doesn't record days as we record days. On the third day, He will raise us up. There's a song that says, After two days, He will revive us. On the third day, He will raise us up. He's the Holy Spirit. So please. Let's look unto God. Even if you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit, mm. there is help in this house. Amen. Uh, to lay hand upon you and receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. For that is the, 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 the comforter, the intercessor, the strengthener, the teacher. We cannot do without the Holy Spirit mm. in these times that we are living. Mm. It is the Holy Spirit that will bring us Amen. into our Father's presence. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord cause the yeah. water of life to break forth from yeah. within us. Yeah. May the Lord open our eyes Amen. to see the tree. Amen. So I don't In know the what name of Jesus. Water 
that you are passing through or whatever bitter experience that has confronted you for so many days and so many years oh friends the solution in the tree amen we will open our eyes to see the sufficiency of the tree amen when you appropriate it and cast the tree into that bitter water the water will become sweet. Amen. Yes. Oh, in the God, name of Jesus. Open our eyes to see the tree. Yes, Lord. Open our eyes to see the Lamb Amen. that you have provided for yourself. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said, We have this function. Hmm. Lord, let this function. In every man and every woman seated here be activated. Amen. Lord, let this let this love. You said the water from the inside shall be a well flowing. Lord, let this water be activated. Amen. Let life flow forth from the teeth. That in the place of dryness. This water will bring health Amen. and bring life Amen. and bring healing yes, and Lord. deliverance hmm. to every dryness and barrenness. Hmm. Oh Lord, let this unction be quickened in every man. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Amen. Lord, so help us to fellowship with your spirit. Amen. As we study the world. As we pray, mm. as we worship, mm. Lord, help us to be quiet. Yes, Lord. And to have a time of quietness, indeed. Mm. Let all the noise run about us cease in the name of Jesus. Let all the noise, all the mm. anxiety, and the distraction oh. run about us. Lord, let them be silent. Amen. Let there be a quietness within our spirit. Yes, Amen. Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> May this function indeed lead us onto the path of increase. Amen. Of yes, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Lord thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I just want to pray. <laughs> Lord, what says in Psalm one twenty six that when you restore the captivity of Zion, mm. we are like men that dread. Mm. Lord, it didn't need to be done that. 200 years for you to restore the captivity of the people. Yes. Yes, Lord. Lord God Almighty, <laughs> thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. For restoring the captivity of your son. Yes, Lord. That mm. which has been difficult mm. and has been challenging mm. and has been addressing to us, Lord, by the breath of your spirit, let there be a recovery. Amen. Let there be a recovery. Amen. Let there be a restoration. Amen. Amen. Lord God Almighty, mm. by the voice of your spirit, let dry bones come alive again in the name Let of Jesus. And women know the power of the quickening spirit. Yes. Jesus Christ, the quickening spirit. In the spirit. name of Jesus. Let it be activated hmm. in the life of your people. Again For you are said it's fresh. not by power, it's not no, by no, mind, no, it's not no, by no, manipulation. No, but by your, your spirit, spirit, yes, Lord. Oh God, mm. let the ministry of the Holy Spirit be mm. quickened Amen. in the life of your people. Amen. To bring a recovery. Amen. Yes, in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. That all activity of the wicked one 
Lord might be arrested in, in the name of Jesus. All that we have known, oh my Lord God, Jesus, my God, we ask tonight. Hmm. That the efforts and the energy of your people will be born by the Holy Spirit Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. For speed that you mm. granting unto your people. Amen. Amen. Oh, for speed. For speed. For speed. Ah, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. He says, I grant unto you divine flight. Yeah. The Lord grant unto Elijah divine flight and was able to overtake the man that was on Shire. Amen. The Lord grant unto you divine flight. Amen. The Lord grant unto you a season of recovery. Amen. That that which has been difficult by the bread of the Lord, they become easy. Amen. Jesus. By the bread of the spirit, they are open. Yes, Lord. Lord, thank you for blind eyes that we give you. Lord, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Lord, we give you thanks. Amen. Mm. But we walk as men with signs. Yes. He said, The fool walking upon his highway shall not stray. Mm. Love will not stray. Amen. Oh, my father will not stray. In the name of Jesus. Every man will lay hold upon their Lord. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to confirm the word that our brother just brought. Hmm. Because today the Lord was speaking to us in that same mind. And uh, the one of the things that the Lord, uh, one of the scriptures is from Isaiah 40. And it's, you know, it's about this complaining, you know. This word has comfort and we have to take it very very seriously hmm. like he said these are not days that you just hear the word of the lord and uh, you just allow it to just you know slide by hmm. these are the days to take seriously the word of the lord and let the holy spirit minister it to you minister hmm. you know life to you through the word that we might respond to the word of God. And uh, in Isaiah 40, you know, we, it's a scripture that we quote every time. And especially when we are waiting on the Lord. Hmm. And uh, I'm going to read it briefly. And um, it's, I'm going to start from verse 27. It says, Isaiah 40, verse 27. It says, people of Jacob, why do you complain? Mm. People of Israel, why do you say the Lord does not see what happens to me? Mm. He does not care if, I treated, if I'm treated fairly. That is how we, you know, God does not care. Where is God? You know, I give up on God. You know, all those complaining. If God is there, if God is God, why is this happening to me? You know, complaints. It says, surely you know, verse 28. It says, surely you have heard. The Lord is the God who lives forever. He created all the world. He does not become tired or need to rest. No one can understand how great his wisdom is. The Lord gives strength to those who are tired. 
He gives more power to those who are weak. That is the solution. That's what our brother is saying. You know, instead of complaining, there is solution in God. God is saying that, don't you know that I am God, that I do not need to take rest. I do not need to sleep. I don't slumber. I don't sleep. He said, don't you know that I live forever? He created the whole world. He does not become tired or need rest. No one can understand how great his wisdom is. The Lord gives strength. So that's the solution. Whatever we're going to do, the Lord gives strength to those who are tired. He gives more power to those who are weak. Hallelujah. He says, Hmm. The verse 30, that's the one we quote most of the time. It says, even boys become tired and need to rest. Even young men trip and fall. But the people who trust the Lord will become strong again. They will be able to rise up as an eagle in the sky. They will run without needing rest. They will walk without becoming tired. And uh, You know, we we were praying, and I was just one of the mm. things that the Lord prompted me to pray. I said, 2015, 16. We, uh, 15, we complain, and you know, but you see, like the Lord has been saying, no carry over. Mm. We're not going to carry carry this mindset of complaining into 2016. Mm. God is saying, no complaining, no more complaining, and that's what our you know brother. It's like whatever we're going through. There is the solution. If we are quiet in our spirit and we listen to the Holy Spirit, there is solution. Mm. There is solution. So I just want to encourage us that mm. the word that has come, we should really grab a hold of it mm. and we should pray it. We should marinate it in prayer. These are not days you hear the word of the Lord. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Another, you know, I've received another revelation, and you know, we go back home, and we do nothing. But let us go back and meditate on those words, and pray and ask the Holy mm. Spirit to. You see, we cannot walk in the light in the revelation of another man. That word that has come has to become life to us. And it is in the light of the revelation that we have received that we walk. That's the revelation that lasts. That's the revelation we can hold on to. Our brother has released this to us, so it is for us to take it now and own it. And let the Holy Spirit help us to respond to it. Amen.